Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yes, yeah, so for Bitcoin, it um, did drop yesterday late, at least here in the UK, um, had quite a bit of a drop and that dragged down a lot of other cryptos as well. So you can see consequently the crypto market generally in the red, of course, as always, not every crypto is affected, but um, yeah, some cryptos made a lower low. For, for example, um, Terra Luna, I talked about that in the Terra Luna video that was expected for Terra, by the way. And overall, however, um, still up and down. And as I said, I don't think there is a lot happening over this long weekend. I mean, I could be wrong. The market is unpredictable on these weekends when the volume is low. But because pretty much all markets are closed on the Friday, I don't think there is a lot happening generally. Um, and on Monday, it might seem a little bit different because on Monday, certain markets are going to open in the US. Yeah, so it's not a bank holiday in the US on Monday. Therefore, this could look different in some parts of the world. There is still bank holiday on Monday. Overall, I think a rather quiet weekend, I believe, where we don't really see a decision. I'd love to have a decision, but I also can say, you know, maybe take some time away from the charts and enjoy the time with your family. But of course, uh, you can always just watch the videos as well. So let's take a look at um, Bitcoin here at the moment. Bitcoin obviously made, that is currently my wave count that I think is the most likely one that the price also adhered to when it came down here from the wave four high. Yeah, um, the alternative wave four, there's a different, there's an alternative wave count as well. But this is now that we are hovering around this support line of this channel. You can see that it's some people have called a bear flag, a huge bear flag. Um, this is for me the most likely one where we came down in a wave one moved up in a wave two corrective wave, moved down in a wave three an impulse, moved up in a wave four corrective wave, where we're now waiting for that fifth wave to start. So in this fourth wave here, gave you the Fibonacci levels for that ideal retracement of a fourth wave. Now, um, here, these are the levels. So you can see that um, this green target area is um, defining that target area for the fourth wave and it was reached. The minimum was reached of 41,000. The ideal level, however, would be 42,324 um, some dollars up or down, you know. I haven't done it 100% accurate here, I guess. Just need to move it up a little bit. Um, there you go. It's about, it's about 42,360 roughly. That would actually be the ideal retracement level for a wave four. Now, yesterday, the price came down quite strongly after it moved up quite strongly the day before or a few days before. Um, no, it was actually the day before. So you can see that strong move up and that strong move down. We did not, or Bitcoin did not make a lower low. At times, it seemed as it would actually go below that support level here of the ascending trend line of that channel. It's an immensely strong support, yeah? I mean, we found support here very, very often now. I mean, here, once, twice, here, three times, four times, five times, six, seven, eight times now as its support of this channel. And what I've said before, the more often you test a support or resistance, the more brittle it gets and the more unlikely it gets that it's actually being held. Now, of course, it is still support as long as it's support. And only when you break it, you're gonna go deeper down. But um, it is still very important to see that we've been in this channel for a very long time. And the longer we are in it, the higher the chances that we're going to break out of it. Because everybody sees it, everybody tries to trade it. And then when everybody tries to trade it, that is normally when it doesn't work anymore. Um, however, here now, yeah, we came down quite strongly. What does that mean? So for now, it doesn't mean a lot. For now, it doesn't mean a lot because we are still above the previous low. So as long as we are above the wave three low here, I think nothing really has happened. Yes, we have turned around quite strongly in the target area, but we did not touch a Fibonacci level. So again, we turned around in the middle of the box, but ideally what you wanna see is um, a reversal at one of these FIB levels. So here, ideally you would, or either at least the 50 day moving average, yeah, he had 42,000. But um, yeah, we turned around here around 41,500. Would have been great to see the price at least turn around at the 50 day moving average or here at the 42,400 um, yeah, level, that 38,000, uh, 38.2% 38 Fibonacci level. That would, would have been 
would have been the best um, in my opinion but yeah we found support a little bit earlier um, a resistance sorry turned around and now found support at the channel still making higher lows so for now for now nothing has changed now it could already be but that is speculation at this case case um, but we haven't also retraced enough for that yet so it could be let me just find the right um, wave count here could be that in this wave five down now yeah um, this could have already been the wave one. We're now retracing in a wave two. We're then gonna come down in three, four, five, and so on. And we're gonna fill the, the fifth wave, right? Because a wave five consists of five waves as well. Now, again, this is at the moment a, a rather simple view. Could become a more complex move down. But at the moment, because this came down quite impulsively, that is certainly an option. And what you would expect then in this wave one, that you do an A, B, C as well. So, could be something like you made your wave one down okay and then in that wave two that i just showed you you make an a b c or something yeah and one opportunity or one possibility would be that we find resistance then somewhere here and go down okay um what would be the minimum retracement for a wave two it's normally the 50 percent fib retracement have we seen that already let's take a look not haven't seen it yet so that would be at 40,600 so we haven't been there yet okay haven't been there yet and um, ideally you want to see that now I showed you in the previous video this trend line here yeah this descending trend line which basically was support in this whole downtrend we then went below it we faked out above it and we're now below it again and it currently seems like we're finding resistance there again okay here so at 40,340. And just because I say it should retrace 50%, you know, sometimes also we have different exchanges. So sometimes it's not that accurate and maybe we already go down from here. But for that, you won't see that the massive downtrend start, I think until we break that previous low at 39,200. That way four could be complete now. So we just need to mentally understand that from here, the price could go down. Okay, it could go down. Um, what this could develop or develop as is as well a head and shoulders. You've got your left shoulder here. You've got your head. And this would be your right shoulder. And then you've got the neckline, depending on how you, how you want to draw it. But there are different ways of drawing that neckline. I would say most likely here around the area of 39,500. If you lose that, then you're breaking the neckline, but it's a bit of a zone. Prices are too dynamic. So certainly when you break that 39,200, you are going to go down. And what would that mean in terms of um, price targets? So just purely looking at that head and shoulders, you would look at adding it <clears throat> to a potential breakout point here, very roughly, you would be taken to around 37,000, just purely from the breakout of that head and shoulders. Now. Not a given that this will develop as a, as a head and shoulders. If it does, it would now turn around and go down again to the support level here between 39,200 and 39,500, yeah? And then if you lose that, that could begin the downtrend. So we're here again, some sort of a decision point, and you can see that the price is actually being squeezed into this apex between this down descending trend line, this downward trend line, and this ascending trend line of the channel. And we could see all of this here after we dropped below the trend line in that wave three, just as a fake out to the upside that made the wave four work. And now we are moving down because the minimum retracement for that wave four is complete. My expectation would be actually that we go once more into the target area. I think it would be too easy to just drop down from here. Um, and I think we are going to see another reaction to the support level, meaning that we are going to come up a little bit more going to go into the target area basically based on probabilities I would have to expect that because we haven't seen the 38.2% FIP level yet which would be the most likely retracement for a wave 4. Um, however the possibility exists that we already turned down because the wave 4 minimum retracement has been achieved and that means and gives me more confidence in this wave count because it has adhered to the Fibonacci retracement levels which would mean that it is fairly likely that in the next move we are going down in a wave five and yeah get further into my or get closer at least to my target area here the wave five 
um, which would sit between 20 and 29K. Okay, that's currently my view about Bitcoin. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. You can get access to the Telegram live chat, the Discord server with my own buy and sell orders and a weekly live stream. And um, also make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. For both, you can find the video li or the links in the description. And uh, yeah, hopefully you like the update and see you in the next video. Bye bye.